what's good it's your boy will back in the building with another video welcome back to my channel guys and if you are new here welcome i'm will thank you for hanging out with me today give me a pound, pound. Oh, okay so the brand that makes these tiny hexagons are called life smart this is their colo lights which are tiny hexagon led rgb panels this is a real entry level product because you can get a single pack for $30 and you get a five pack for 50 and you can just keep on adding on up to a hundred little hexagons into your setup. So let's go ahead and get inside this box and let's see all of what Colo Light has to offer. Let's get it. Taking a look around the box, some of Colo Light's offering is home kit connectivity, dynamic effects and sound activated music sync modes. You have 16 million colors, and plus you have the ability to connect this to your Amazon Smart Assistant or your Google Home Smart Assistant. What comes in a box, you get your user manual, you get a base to support your panels. Each hexagon panel measures three inches across by three inches and a little bit over an inch in thickness. Here's the size comparison next to a Funko Pop. So you can see it's pretty small. I have the Colo Light Plus kit here, which comes with seven panels, a USB powered controller with home kit connectivity. The USB cable to the controller is about 40 inches in length. You have seven connectors, which are long ones, and you have five smaller connections, which is to help support the structure. Okay, so how do you connect them? Very simple. The main thing to notice about the back of these, the double-sided connector right here, this is how you deliver power to each hexagon. You wanna plug in the longer connector into the double-sided connector and then you can plug it into any one of the open connectors single connector to single connector just won't work so i've been kind of playing with these I, I mean i've been testing these out i don't play here i test things out to get this connected you're going to take your controller and then you're going to take your base and you just slide it up through like so there's like a cable raceway for the right direction for this to be mounted. And then you can go ahead and start connecting all of your lights together. Mm. Am I an artist or what? <laughs> if I click this one time, this is the music function. If I click it again, it's gonna do a RGB cycle mode. If I tap it again, um, this is another effect. So as you can see right off the bat, you already can like use this without even connecting it to the app which is pretty nice to have this button right here to quickly press to cycle through. These are really small. I didn't think that they were that small. I really love how simple it is to connect and configure and just place around and play with or, or test out whatever you're doing. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and connect this to the app. This uses an app called Colo Light. You just search for it in your Apple Store or your uh, Google Play. Yeah, you just search for it in your App Store or your Google Play devices. So I've already uh, connected this up, but um, it's very simple process to do. All you really need is your manual, which is right here. Click this three drop down, hit the add button, hit the Colo Light. And right here, you see you have three different options. You got the basic, the pro, and the plus. They also give you this little tiny tool. To get this going, you have to hold this down to reset it. One thing that I can say about connecting this is my Wi-Fi router uses both bands, and this had no problem figuring out with my Wi-Fi of which band it needs to be connected to. And it's real simple to pair. When you first get into the app right here on the side, you can see you have a power button so you can simply press that to turn it on and off you have a value and this you can dim if you click right here you can actually cycle through these like this or you could even get very optimistic and create your own by hitting the plus button but in the top section you have the ability to choose between different preset settings that they already have you can adjust the speed of which everything changes and you can even select the direction of how all of the hexagons interact with each other. If you really love your design, you could save it, create a name for this dynamic effect to recall later on. If you scroll to the left one good time, um, this is kind of like your standard colors right here. So this is white, 
you got that, yellow, blue, pink. So if you scroll again over to the to the left, you have the official lab. And that, that sounds official, right, y'all? Inside of here, this looks like some predetermined shapes that Cololite must have come up with that will give you different types of dynamic effects with your panels. So if I click on this fire one right here, and I, it kind of tells you how you should have it connected, but we're gonna hit apply and let's see what happens. Now, as you see, it is doing that predetermined uh, fire thing. The wave, it doesn't have this block or this block, so it only recognizes the four. If you wanna make your own, you just hit the create, and right here you have two different options. So you can create a dynamic or a static effect. Static effect basically is just solid colors and dynamic that can move. We'll make a quick static effect. So as you can see right here, it's very simple. You just pretty much following the pattern that you have for your lights. I'm just telling the app that this is how it's connected. And then it tells you how the back is connected. So you have the option to just I could turn them all red and if I hit preview, then bam, all of them go to red. But what's really cool in here, as you can see each individual dot, these are all individual LEDs. So I could click on this paintbrush and I could actually make one of the panels two different colors. We're gonna do a dynamic effect. We're gonna create a frame and this is basically the same thing. It is really cool how you can individually color each LED inside of this little hexagon panel. What really brings these to life and make these cool is gonna be the music functions. Inside the app, the easiest way to do like some really cool music effects, I click right here, you have the option to choose the microphone to listen on your mobile device or on the device mic. So I'm gonna just click device mic. And as you see already, you have a whole lot of different options in here. And we're gonna just play some music. Let's go. These have a lot of music functionality. In here, it just gives you some patterns. And if you go right here to advanced settings, now this is where the juice is inside of these little LED panels. You have something called Breathe, you have Shadow, you have Flash, you have Flicker, Scene, Mood. The different words of flicker and shadow determines how the LEDs interact with each other. And another thing just to note right here is you can actually control how you want the lights to change color throughout each of the panels. Now I really like this shuffle mode because it kind of like synchronizes through all of these different LED effects. So very simple to connect this to Amazon Smart Assistant. You're just gonna search up your Amazon app. You're gonna click on more. You're gonna go to skills and games. You wanna search for life smart. This is the skill right here. So all you gotta do is enable use. Once you do that, you just have to log into your life smart account. Then you have to discover devices. And once you finish discovering it, it'll tell you that your new light is set up. Turn hexagons red. Turn hexagons blue. You can go down to your devices. Here is the hexagons in my Amazon app and I could simply turn it on, turn it off, change the colors in here, but you do not have the ability to change the dynamic effects. To add this to HomeKit, the step actually already takes place when you originally do it, but I'll show you really quickly. You just go to your HomeKit, add accessory. The HomeKit code is also at the bottom of your controller. So you just wanna scan the HomeKit barcode, you add the light, whatever you name the Colo light inside of the app, that will carry over. And inside of here, you're gonna be able to do the same thing by just adjusting solid colors and dimming it and brighten it. And you could also say, turn off Colo light. Okay. Turn on Colo light. 
dim color light to 25 percent okay so you have a little bit of control but you cannot control dynamic effects with voice all right so we're gonna go ahead now and compare this to my beloved lifex beam we're just gonna do some music sync modes and we're gonna see which one looks better let's get it Based off of those examples, these are like very tiny, especially compared to my LifeX Beam. Just looking at these side by side, you can automatically see how much brighter that is compared to these. This is at 100% and I think that's on like 30% or something. So all in all, what do I really think about these? If you buy one of these, it costs $30. This right here was a total of $100 and I got seven panels. So for me to really cover up enough space like my LifeX Beam up there, I would probably need about three sets of these, which will cost me about $300. I honestly think that these are like just something extra to have with your other little LED panel products. I got that one originally for $150. So if I paid another 50, I could have more light coverage than just this. I think that these are a nice refresher of LED panels because it's something different than the normal stuff we see like nano leaves. I'm gonna be adding these to my setup, probably like a lamp. I'm not really digging the base. It's hella big for no reason. Without the base, you can do, but depending on the way you have your structure, it may not balance. So obviously like this is gonna tip over. If I was to connect this here, then now it's gonna tip over that way. If you had to choose between the plus or the pro, the only benefit you're really getting is the home kit connectivity. I really think that these are really dope, very easy to just, you know, play around with or, or test out uh, whatever you do. Like I can literally just sit here and mess around and move them everywhere. Like it's a lot of fun to play with. My first con is the cable is hella short. Like it's 40 inches brightness. It is not that bright. Throughout the whole entire panel, I feel like the color blends in very well. I think that they are pretty small for what you're getting. The music functions on this is super dope. So much to choose from. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section. Let me know if there's any questions that you guys have that I didn't answer. If you guys are thinking about checking this out, I'll leave links down in the description for all the different packs that you can choose. I really hope that you guys got some value out of this video or at least learned something cool. Maybe I put you guys on to some new cool lighting that you could possibly add to your setup. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave your boy a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And remember guys, never stop creating. Deuces!